how you guys i hope all is well um back again with another message um this message is um pretty much god has called his children to live in freedom um and this message is based upon a number that he showed me on my way home um he showed me 283 twice um i know i had covered that number before but then it's like two different meanings to that number to this number and so got home god told me to watch the movie um and then after i watched the movie he gave me more clarity well he gave me actually more clarity watching the movie and then after the movie now he's giving me more clarity on it so um 283 in the strong concordance mean free from that by which the nature of a thing is deformed and debased or is forced and vulgar further impaired okay um the scripture that God had took me to was Galatians chapter 5. And I'm going to start, I believe, at the first verse, if I can get to the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 5. Yes, starting at the first verse, and this is under freedom in Christ. So Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free and don't get tied up again in slavery to the law. Listen, I, Paul, tell you this. If you are counting on circumcision to make you right with God, then Christ will be of no benefit to you. I say it again. If you are trying to find favor with God by being circumcised, you must obey every regulation in the whole law of Moses. For if you are trying to make yourself yourselves right with god by keeping the law you have been cut off from christ you have fallen away from god's grace but we who live by the spirit eagerly waiting to re waiting to receive by faith the righteousness god has promised to us for when we place our faith in jesus christ there is no benefit in being circumcised or being uncircumcised what is important is faith expressing itself in love you were running the race so well who has held you back from the following truth it is cert it certainly isn't god for he is the one who calls you to freedom the false teaching is like a like, like a little yeast that spreads through the whole batch of dough i am trusting the lord to keep you from believing false teaching God will judge that person, whoever he is, who has been confusing you. Dear brothers and sisters, if you are still preaching that you must be circumcised, as so many say I do, why am I being, why am I still being persecuted? If I were no longer preaching salvation through the cross of Christ, no one will be offended. I just wish that those troublemakers who want to um, who want to molotate you by circumcision will molotate themselves. Mutate you by circumcision will mutate themselves. For you have been called to live in freedom. My brothers and sisters, don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. For the whole law can be summoned up in one command love your neighbor as yourself but if you are always biting and devouring one another watch out beware of destroying one another um god has called his children to live in freedom in this hour um that's why we're about to see a lot of judgment that's why we're about to see um things hit this land because he has called his children to live in in freedom and not in slavery not in bondage um some of us some of us are not living a actual slavery slavery like like back in the day how it was when people were actually enslaved however we had became slaves um 
or some of us has became slaves due to um the law okay um and or the law of the land as we say um and in bondage because of the law of the land so god is trying to tell his people that he has called you to live free okay um and whenever god um brings freedom or begins to bless begins to bless you um there is going to come with instructions you cannot go back and live the same way you were living um he is going to call you i'm gonna jump down to verse 19 when you follow the desires of your sinful nature the results are very clear sinful and morality impurity lustful pleasures idolatry sorcery hostility quarreling jealousy outbursts of anger selfish ambition um decisions division envy drunkenness wild parties and other sins like these let me tell you again so i have before that anyone living this sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of god okay um but the holy spirit produces the kind of fruit in our lives love joy peace patience, kindness goodness and faith faithfulness gentleness and self-control this there is no law against these things when god starts blessing his children and when you really actually start to live in freedom okay um and no longer in bondage because like i said because of how our government and stuff is set up how the law and stuff is set up a lot of us are still living in bondage um make sure you're still living a holy life when he comes in and deliver you and set you free from this life of bondage when who the son sets free is free indeed um there's our things that we gonna have to still stay away from in order to continue to be blessed in order for us to be able to see the kingdom of god but god again is causing his children in this hour to live in freedom okay not in bondage and the movie that god had told me to watch ironically was um the movie about moses the prince of egypt he told me to watch that movie and ironically that it tied into this number to um 83 the second meaning of it in a strong concordance so just want to come and share again that god has called his children in this hour to live in freedom all right I love you all and I will talk to you later.